Hi, this tutorial will teach you how to do a five step problem when we have an ice cube which is below zero degrees Celsius and we heat it up all the way to about 100 degrees Celsius. So let's look at the question first. So the question says how much heat is, requ is required to convert 40 grams of ice at negative 10 degrees Celsius to steam at 120 degrees Celsius. So when you read the question, you may first be puzzled, like what do we do now? So what I want you to do is that at the very beginning, think about what you have and what you need to end up with. And then think about the transition in between. So you now have an ice cube at negative 10 degrees Celsius. In order for the, for the ice cube to become steam at a certain, at a higher temperature, so you need to go through the liquid stage. The ice cube must become water first. So what we do is this, let's make a graph. So right now we are at negative 10 degrees Celsius. And then since it is an ice cube and it is not changing state yet, so it will increase temperature as we supply heat. And then once it reaches zero degrees Celsius, it will stop increasing temperature and it becomes flat. And the reason why it becomes flat is because all the energy being, being supplied to the ice cube is now being used to change state, but not the kinetic energy. So we don't see any change in the temperature. And after all the ice is changed to water, then the temperature would go up again and all the way to 100 degrees Celsius. Okay? And once it reaches 100 degrees Celsius, which is the boiling point of water, it will change from water to steam. So we will expect to see another flat section of the curve, of the graph. And after all the water is now in the form of steam, it will continue to increase temperature and then it will stop at 120. So why is it so important for us to draw this graph? Well, if you draw this graph, it helps you to visualize how many different segments or calculations that we have to do. For each segment, it represents an equation, it represents a calculation. So we have one, two, three, four, we have a total of five segments, that means we have to do a total of five calculations. So let me do the first one right now. So we're going to use the small letter Q to represent the amount of energy being supplied, and uh, one is to represent the first segment. So since this is just a process of changing temperature, so we are going to use MC delta T. Okay? So, what is our mass? Well, based on the question, our mass is 40 grams. And uh, now, we have three different values of C, and which one do we use? Well, since we are talking about a ice cube, an ice cube, which is below zero degrees Celsius, and it's changing temperature. So we would use the value, the C value, which is representing for ice. And the change of temperature, which is always the final minus the initial, and in this case, the final temperature is going to be zero degrees Celsius, the initial temperature is negative 10. So what we have is zero minus parentheses negative 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, which would change to plus because negative negative would get you positive. So if you are used to calculate it, calculate it, and I would get H. 40 joules. 
So you now get the energy for the first segment, the first, uh, the first change, okay, the change of temperature. Now be aware that as you go on to the calculations, you will see units that are slightly different. Here we see the unit is in terms of joules, but as we move on, we will see units in kilojoules because when we apply the heat of fusion or the heat of vaporization, you can see is a kilojoules. So in order to avoid confusion or mistakes, what we would like to do is to change this number to kilojoules right now so that we would not be confused with the numbers. Okay? And for these problems, it is extremely important to write down the units. If not, you just get yourself lost. So we have our first calculation done. Then we can move on to the second calculation, which is this part. Okay? So the second part is the flat segment, segment for the uh, for the for the graph. And it indicates there's a change of state from ice to water. So since we have a change of state, the equation that we're gonna use to calculate is the Q is equal to the Q is equal to the number of moles times the heat of fusion. Now it is the heat of fusion in this case because we are changing from water to ice. No, changing from ice to water. Okay? So now on the left hand side you can see that uh, we already changed the uh, I have the calculations ready to calculate how many moles. So if I do the calculations it will give us 2.22 moles of H2O. Okay? So we can go ahead and put this here. All right? And then we can plug in the uh, HF, the heat of fusion, which is given in this case. So, we can just simply use a calculator and find out what the value is. So the mole here will be canceled out. Okay? So, we now have the the amount of energy for the second part of the, uh, the second part of the graph. And now you can see all the units are matched. They're all in kilojoules. Now for, for the part three, part four, and part five, it resembles part one and two. Okay. Uh, if you see a change of temperature, you will use MC delta T. If you see a change of state, it will be the number of moles times the heat of fusion or vaporization, depending on what is the change. So let's just quickly write down the values. Okay, so after you have all these values calculated, okay, I'm going to skip the I was I skip the calculations because it is uh, very similar to uh, what we did in the first two calculations. So what you do is that you add them up, and I will use a subscript T to stand for the total. So just add them up. Make sure the units are all the same. If they are not all the same. You must have to convert to the same unit in order to uh, calculate the answer. So, the final temp uh, the, fi uh, the total amount of heat being supplied so that the ice can go from negative 10 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees Celsius is 1.2 Okay? So, I hope you understand how to deal with problems that going from ice to steam at different temperatures.